Hi guys, this is Blowjoes, and today I'm going to be giving you a three-way review of Kingdom Hearts Play Arts by Square... Oh, it's a Square Enix product, it's the Play Arts figure. Uh, number one, Sora. This is, uh, I believe this came out first in 08, but I found this online for really cheap, so I picked it up. Because I'm a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts, I'm playing my way through Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep right now, but anyway... I'll just jump right into this review. What I'm going to be doing right away here, actually, is uh, I'll put a little link that says uh, where each figure review starts. So I will be doing Roxas and Axel as well. So if you want to just watch the review of Roxas, then I'll give you a point in time that you can skip to. And if you're going to be watching just the Axel review, then I'll give you that point in time. So we'll start off with Sora, because Sora is the number one figure. So. As you can see inside the box, he looks pretty kick awesome. The face sculpt is pretty nice. It is a little soft, but it looks it looks pretty good. It comes with the standard keyblade and his uh, outfit that he wears in Kingdom Hearts 2. And uh, just a bunch of graphics and stuff on the box. There's nice windows that uh, light comes in from all sides, so you can see the figure. On the back here, you can see him in just a pretty well just relaxed pose. It says number one Sora and over 20 points of articulation. On the side you can see Roxas, Kyrie, and Axel. A bunch of gibberish in Japanese and I won't be able to read that to you because I do not know Japanese. This is a Japanese import figure and uh, it's looks pretty good from the box so we'll move on to what he looks like outside the box. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, it's been about a half hour since I filmed the first segment. Um, out of the box, this figure looks awesome. He looks so much like Sora. But uh, the reason why I'm bringing up the fact that uh, that it took me a half hour since I filmed the first segment was uh, one of two things. Uh, the first one was my fault. When I took the keyblade out, I didn't realize there was tape covering the chain on the bottom, which is an actual metal chain, by the way. And so I started pulling it out, and I actually, I actually ripped off the little Mickey pendant there. So I had to, I had to take pliers and put that back on. So that's back on there, and this, this chain is removable, by the way. This little clip on the back of the keyblade. And the second thing was not my fault; it was the company's fault. His arm was uh, not connected properly, so I moved it a little bit, and it fell off. And that was a pain in the butt to put back on. And I, I didn't even get it all the way back on, so I will not be moving his left his left arm like ever again. So unfortunately, that's two nitpicks. The first one was of course my fault, so that's not really a big deal. But the second one, you really have to watch out for that when you're buying these. I would have I would have actually just returned it, but this was the last Sora that the store had, so I don't want to do that. Uh, I, mentioned, I mentioned earlier that I bought these online for pretty cheap. I got Sora for 13 Roxas for 11 and Axel for $12 American from um, cornerstorecomics.com. But uh, like I was stating earlier, this figure is really cool. It's, um, it's a little bit soft on the facial sculpts, like I said, because... Uh, maybe that, like, when these first came out, I imagine a lot of people went, wow, these are amazing. But they just recently pumped out um, Christmas Town Sora and Jack Skellington. And uh, the Christmas Town Sora has a very nice face sculpt. We'll probably, or sorry, my fiance will probably review that one eventually because I got that for her for her birthday. But um, yeah, the sculpting on this figure is really nice. The outfit looks really good. These pant legs are made out of rubber, so they're just a rubber material over top of the legs, which is really nice. Um, he's got decent articulation. He's got ball jointed ankles, rocker ankles, and um, a hinge in the middle of the foot. He's got uh, all of his pouches and whatnot on his outfit. And like I said earlier, the chain on his keyblade is actually a metal chain that's removable. Um, so, you know, this is a really nice figure to have. Um, out of 10, I'd probably give this figure a 7. 
simply because of all the problems that I had with it out of the box. But now that it's all put together, you know, this is, of course, going to be one of the centerpieces to the Kingdom Hearts um, setup that I have. I really hope they do figures from Birth by Sleep, the Play Arts, because every other figure I've got from them has had no problems whatsoever. Uh, this is the first one that I've had problems with, and it was probably because this is one of the earlier figures, one of the first ones that they did. So, you know, once all said and done, though, this is an excellent figure. The Keyblade looks nice, and if, you know, if you want to switch out the Keyblade, there are five-pack Keyblades that you can get as well. You can probably find this guy on eBay or at some online retailers, maybe at your local comic book shop, but this came out originally in 08, so it's not a lot of chances of you finding him still. But uh, that's all about that's about all I have to say for Sora. Now I'm going to move on to Roxas. Alright, so if you missed the first part of the review, or if you're just going to watch this whole review, this next section is about Roxas. Figure number two in the uh, Kingdom Hearts Play Arts line. So uh, the only difference really between this box and the last box is that there's a little sticker ad here for the uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories manga. And on the back, instead of Sora, there's a picture of Roxas standing next to a picture of Sora, Kyrie, and Axel. Uh, this figure comes with two accessories instead of just the one. He comes with um, the Keyblade, like Sora did, the same one, just the normal Keyblade with the Mickey pendant, and he comes with a salt ice cream popsicle. So, that's about it for the box, I'll move on to the figure now. Alright, so now I've got Roxas out of the box here, and let me tell you, this one I was much more surprised and happy with. Um, I'm about to say something that you can take in and you can either take it or leave it or but uh, I've actually never played Kingdom Hearts 2 or all the way through 1 for that matter um, just haven't gotten around to it but I know the story because Carrie my fiance has played it and she loves it you know and I'm playing through Birth by Sleep right now. I've already finished Ventus's story. So, I uh, just got to finish up Birth by Sleep, and then I'm going to move on to Kingdom Hearts 1, and then finish up Kingdom Hearts 2 as well. So, uh, this, this figure is my favorite because he looks so much like Ventus. But uh, that's just my opinion. He... Um, the accessories that he comes with are really cool. I like the ice cream because it's it's very reminiscent of him and Axel eating ice cream together. But uh, he he seems to hold his keyblade a lot better than Sora did. Um, he's got like a lot of more room to bend his fingers. With Sora, I had to actually bend his fingers back to fit it around the the keyblade. I'll just show you here. His finger was actually bent too far forward and kept hooking up on the on the top of the keyblade here on the other side. So that's just a minor uh, quality there that Roxas has over Sora. Um, he's he's got pretty decent articulation. Uh, one thing that I didn't like though is that with the ice cream you actually can't get it to his mouth. That's about as close as you can get it there. I mean, that's still fine, but it just would have been cool if he could eat it. Uh, he's got... His articulation is a little limited out of the box, actually, because his legs are so thick. They're, he he does have double hinged knees. Or, sorry, no, he's just got hinged knees. But um, they're pretty limited out of the box because the paint is holding them together. Uh, he's got ball-jointed shoulders with, like, a swivel thing as well. Uh, hinged elbows, ball jointed wrists, and hinged at the fingers. He's got a ball jointed head with a great range of mo uh, movement. He's got an ab crunch and a waist crunch, actually. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Um, 
He's got the swivel ankles as well, I believe. Nope, no swivel ankles, but he does have the hinge in the middle of the foot. And, uh, yeah, his outfit looks top-notch. I mean, I'm really impressed with this figure. This one was the cheapest one of the three as well. He was $11 off of um, cornerstorecomics.com. Uh, one thing that does amuse me, though, is how far out his butt sticks. It's it's kind of funny, actually. It's, it's really funny. Um, but that's just a minor nit as well. Overall, this figure is really, really cool. Um, I can't wait to set it up on my Kingdom Hearts shelf. And, yeah, I was considering actually picking up the, uh, the Keyblade set as well, maybe, but... Who knows? Anyway, that's all I really have to say for Roxas. Oh, also, actually, his wristband here is an entirely different piece. This is movable. So you can move the wrist and then move the wristband up there so that it looks like there's... Well, it, it hides the joint, which is nice. So, that's about all I have to say for Roxas. Now I move on to Axel. Alright, so for those of you who didn't watch the first two parts and are now skipping to this part, the Axel figure review, um, the box is pretty pretty much the same as the first two. It's just got a nice um, display window here that you light comes in and you can see the figure quite well. And uh, yeah, there's just some little graphics on the side, little Kingdom Hearts 2 logo. On the back you see him pictured beside the little picture of Sora, Roxas, and Kairi. Uh, he's the number four figure in this uh, series, and he's got 20 points of articulation. Now, one thing I should mention is that Axel has the most accessories out of all of them. Sora only has one, Roxas has two, but Axel has four. He's got two extra hands and his, uh, his weapons there. So now I'll open the box and get right into the figure. Hi guys. <laughs> um, I know it hasn't been any time for you, but it has been about 25 minutes for me again. I had a lot of trouble switching out the hands. Um, simply because I ignored the instructions. And it said basically... Uh, don't be rough on it, and I was rough on it, and I broke the right hand, the ball piece there where it connects to the wrist, and um, because I was scared to do it on the next one, I pulled out a hair dryer, and let me tell you, never ever underestimate the hair dryer trick. Um, it worked just fine, kept the hair dryer on it for like two minutes, not even 30 seconds, and I could pop off the hand just fine. So this ball joint was stuck in the hand for the longest time, so I was using pliers, and I was heating up a screwdriver and trying to stick it out, but that didn't work, so I used a hair dryer and popped it out with pliers in 20 seconds. It was that simple. So, never underestimate the hair dryer trick. It won't warp your toy, and it'll just get the job done. Anyway, uh, now that I have Axel out of the package and everything's together, I gotta say he is one of the best of the three. He, um, the detail on his weapons is really good. He holds his weapons just fine. Uh, however, because of his cape, I find it very, or his, his Organization 13 outfit, however, I find it difficult to get his legs into a decent pose, so I'm just gonna pose him like this. Um, Great, great figure. His face sculpt, again, is very soft, but the uh, detail on the hair and on the weapons and on his outfit, just everything makes up for that. I did forget to mention on Sora that he has a chain necklace. His his uh, Kingdom Hearts necklace is an actual chain, just like the chains on the Keyblades. And with uh, Axel here, he's got an actual chain on his neck as well as part of his outfit. So, overall, this is a really good figure. He's got decent articulation, uh, a little bit restricted, but you should get him into a pretty decent pose if you get him. Uh, 
So that's about all I have to say for these reviews here. Um, these are excellent figures by Play Arts. Uh, definitely, if you can find them, pick them up. Make sure that your Sora isn't broken, though. And make sure to use the hairdryer trick if you have any problems with your figure. So that's about it. Um, until next time, keep collecting whatever it is you collect. This is Blowjo signing out.